Hey everyone, uh, it's Matt, and today I'm going to be playing what I believe is the best video game of 2023, so far at least. It is only February 1st, the day I'm recording this, but I have enjoyed this game so much in the last few days that I think it could be a contender for a game of the year, at least for me. Even in a year with games like The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom coming out. But we'll see. Looks to be a year with a lot of interesting video games. So, this one may be at or near the top, or it may not be. But either way, let's play some Pizza Tower. Now here we have Peppino Spaghetti sitting in the dark, but if you touch any of the buttons, the lights will turn on and you'll get the file select screen. These TVs here are the files, and uh, I chose the middle one for my main file, uh, which is currently at 66%. I did finish the main story, but I didn't get everything there is to get, so that's why it is 66%. But for this video, we're going to start from the beginning and play the opening sections of the game. So, Pizza Tower is a 2D platformer with a sort of pixel art slash 90s cartoon art style. It looks a lot like uh, kind of red and stimpy cow and chicken type artwork, really exaggerated and colorful. And that's what I love about it. This game has so much personality and charm. And on top of that, it's extremely fun. But it is definitely inspired by the Mario Land series, as you'll see. At least if you have played Mario Land, you'll see some similarities, but it's very much its own game as well. So you can push uh, uh, A to jump, and hold down in a direction to crawl. And what do we have over here? We have a little box, but we can't go through here. These blocks are in the way. What that means, uh, we'll have to find out later. But let's crawl through here. And now, you can break marble and metal blocks underneath you with a body slam. Press down while in the air. Like that. Start the body slam from higher to destroy metal blocks. So, you can't destroy them from a normal height, but if you go up here, and gain some more speed, you can destroy them. And some blocks may be hidden. Keep an eye out for them. You can push X to break through blocks, which may or may not be hidden. And the goal on each level is to get to the end and then escape. But uh, you should be trying to collect five pizza toppings along the way. Here's one of the toppings. And though I'm starting out slow, this game gets incredibly fast, which is part of why it's so fun. Press this to do that dash. And, uh, yeah, that's X, the grab dash. It can destroy marble blocks. And if you hold down the right trigger, you start a mock run. And if you hold it down and jump on a wall, you'll run up the wall. So you can run into the wall, or you can jump and run up the wall and keep going. Press jump while wall running to jump off the wall. Keep right trigger held to stick on to the other walls. You can also use a grab dash to start a wall run while in the air. So, very fast paced and fun movement here. And you can get a quick start by dashing. Alright, you can also jump to do a long jump, like that. And if you're already running and you go up to a slope, you'll start running up the wall automatically. While doing a mock run, hold down to destroy blocks in a small gap. Like that. And you can keep running after that. And if you hold down during a mock run in the air, you can do a dive. Like that. Very express 
some animation here. And to destroy metal blocks, you have to be going fast enough, like that. And now, let's jump up here. And a little something it hasn't told you yet, but it's still fun. If you push Y, you can do a taunt. One of these random animations, or poses. But if you hold it down, you can start breakdancing. What is this used for? Probably nothing, but it's still fun. So let's get some speed and get up there. And destroy that block. Ta-da! Running down a slope will make you go faster. So you don't need as much distance to uh, build up speed. And you can reverse direction and maintain your speed like that. And if you reverse direction before hitting the edge, you can maintain your speed on the next level down. Like this. A little tricky to get used to at first, but after a little while, it's pretty intuitive. And then when you're at a high speed, you can hold the up direction and then let go to do a high jump, where you keep going until you hit the ceiling. Like this. And now, you can do that to go through gaps faster. And you can grab things and throw them. Usually you end up grabbing enemies. as you can, so the ways are only available during the escape sequence in each level, where you run back to the start before time runs out. And you need to save most of the dudes and cages to order, in order to progress in the tower. So there we go, I've got all five toppings for this tutorial level. And there is no time limit in the tutorial, but once you destroy the John block, or the pillar holding up the level, you have to escape before you get destroyed. It's pizza time. And these blocks that were transparent are now showing up and vice versa during the escape. And there we are. That is the tutorial. So let's play through the first few levels. First, we've got level number one, John Gutter. Let's take a look around. Nothing obvious in here. Maybe important later, you never know. I haven't really uh, found all the secrets in this game yet. There are a lot of very obscure achievements but I intend to get many of them over time. Let's see if I can get the cheese. There we go. And I will say it's a little trickier to try playing this game in a relaxing way, so if my gameplay looks a little shoddy, that's why. I'm trying to be nice and relaxing. But like many things on my channel, the content itself is not entirely relaxing. And if you saw that guy with a fork, if you're not going fast enough, you'll get stabbed by the fork. Um, but if you are going fast enough, or you parry him with a taunt, you can uh, destroy him instead. And it's worth noting that you can't really die in this game, at least not by getting hurt in most cases. But sometimes you'll end up getting reset to a checkpoint if you do something wrong. It, uh, it's intuitive enough. You just gotta figure out what works and what doesn't. Alright. Moving on through. Into the box of pizza. And now, 
let's get this topping up here. And there's a secret in there, very nice. Sometimes you gotta do a little exploring to find the secrets. They're not always very obvious. And once you've been charged up by doing enough damage, you can do a super taunt by holding up and taunting. And it will destroy everything on the screen. Or at least the enemies on the screen. There was no one there, but that's what it looks like. Let's go back and get these here. Yep, very nice. Because I'm slowing down to explain things to you, I'm not going to get the great combos that I otherwise might. But that's okay. We're not going for high scores, we're going for relaxation here. This game is just so much fun. The movement and the animation and the challenge, it does get very challenging. The boss fights in this game remind me a bit of Cuphead. They can be very kind of Cuphead-esque in their difficulty. Maybe not quite as difficult, but they are satisfying in a sort of similar way, in my opinion. Didn't want to miss the tomato there. I slipped on a banana peel. Oh well. Let's keep on moving. Alright, we've got four toppings now. Very nice. We gotta find the fifth. Gotta go back and destroy that. Yep. Gotta cause as much havoc as I can. game. Let's see. Can I maintain my speed all the way up here? Maybe not. Because I hit the banana peel. That's okay though. Let's go back this way and see if we can get this guy. This guy will help you unlock secret doors. You gotta find him in each level. On our way out. Time to escape. Two and a half minutes left. Said than done. I'm not going to get all the clocks, I'm just going to go real fast. And if you run out of time, you don't instantly die, but Pizza Face, the main antagonist of the game, comes out and chases you around, and if he touches you, you lose and have to start the whole level over. Only happened to me once, but it was a fairly difficult level, at least for me at the time. I gotta be more careful here. I keep getting hurt. Okay. Down through the pizza boxes. Run, 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 run. Game in some ways feels a little bit like Sonic the Hedgehog with this speed. But I think it is a better platformer than Sonic in general. Anything in here now during the escape? Nope. I imagine there's some sort of secret there, but I'm not sure what it is. Alright, and that is John Gutter, level 1, done. Gotta be not bad, but not great. Okay. Let's see what we got next. Next up, Pizza Escape. Which is a sort of medieval themed one. Let's make our way through this castle. Down here. It's fun to do a pile driver on enemies sometimes. The timing on the parry can be a little different. 
difficult, but you get used to it. If you're not me, of course. You've seen how many times I've gotten hit so far. Like that. But I was hoping I'd be fast enough to uh, have it not be a problem. Let's build up some speed. Need to use 
use that again. Let's go and open the door. And through here, what do we have? We have this guy. He is now part of our team. If I can remember where that door was, maybe we can open it up. I don't know if I can either get back to it right now, though. Cheese. 
these guys have bombs, which are dangerous, but can be useful for destroying certain obstacles. You can also climb up the vines like that, but the bombs can be used to get rid of the rats. There's that key. I'll try and keep it in mind for the way out. I'll probably forget. Or no. I can already use it. I'm back over here. And through here, what do we have? Got a tomato. And the guy who wanted to fence me, but I destroyed him. No fencing today, pal. You do have to parry those guys unless you're going fast enough. Pizza 
box, of course. Seems I've gone the wrong way. Down here. Alright. Whoops. Up we go. Could we have that just in case? Or maybe not. Guess I don't need it. Wait, which way am I going? I'm a little bit lost.
sure or something. The moop. I have no idea what I'm talking about, honestly. But I just got hit by a flying fish. Seems like my performance in this game is getting progressively worse as this video goes on. Lots of very interesting level themes in this game. Oh no, I've heard Peppino ten times. Every ten times you get hurt, it does show you that. I'm not sure if there's some sort of uh, thing that happens when you reach a certain number. But I didn't notice any difference at ten. Kind of reminds me of, I remember there's a level in Sonic 3D Blast, I think, on the Game Gear, kind of an underground lava level. Parts of this remind me a little bit of that. Run, 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 run. So 
Well, it wouldn't be too hard to avoid the lot on the way out. For most of this run, it's been pretty uh, avoidable, I'd say. But now that I've said that, I'm definitely, yep, I'm definitely going to run into it. There we go. I think I can get that achievement with just a little bit of uh, patience and practice. Just 
just okay, but we'll take it. Could have been worse. I think I got a D the first time I fought this guy. Okie doke. Let's bring the key to the door. And up to the next floor of Pizza Tower. And wound up the elevator. And howdy, welcome to floor two. And with that, I'd like to thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Have a good night. Bye-bye.